Now we all know that our ability to make decisions, to attend to various aspects of our environment, to remember whether or not uh, I took the garbage out before I left, all of these things vary depending on what happens in our lives. But the problem is we don't have a really good way of tracking with quantitative sophistication fluctuations in performance. So our goal is to develop techniques to track neuro capacity, to track our ability to interact with our world and put numbers on them so that we can actually know, well, what aspects of our cognitive performance are changing through time. And then once we're able to do that, we can take this study from the lab out into the real world and track people's cognitive abilities, track their neuro capacity in real life. We've been using these two devices. One of them is called a narrative clip. It's a little camera that you can just clip onto your shirt uh, and it just takes a photo every 30 seconds. And so now, we have someone wear this for weeks and months at a time. Now we have this amazing window into where they went in the world, what sorts of social interactions they've had, how complex is their experience. And then when we want to take it to the next level, we start using smartphones. We have people wear these around their neck. They take photos, they track the gyroscopic and accelerometer information in the camera so we know how you move, we know how active you've been. It also collects GPS information, so we know where in the world you've been exploring. And then it also can optionally collect little snippets of audio information where we're not collecting enough to hear any words that are, that are being said, but it can give us the context. We can know if you are in a quiet office environment or a noisy street. So all of these bits of information give us this amazing window into the structure of people's lives. We have a fantastic EEG facility right across the hall that's great for when we're gonna bring people in right here, but this setup is completely mobile. We can go to individuals. We can go to places in the, uh, over in the hospital. We can go all over the university, all over the town even, and very easily put on a cap and collect some EEG data. This is a, what's called a mobile eye tracker that has, instead of just passively tracking the eyeballs, it's recording everything around an individual. So we can have someone put these on and then leave. They can go out into the real world, interact with their environment, and we can see whatever the participant is looking at, we can see how they're processing their environment. As it turns out, the way that you interact with the world tells a lot about your inner cognitive state. One of our projects is to assess to what extent we can diagnose early stages of Alzheimer's just by tracking how you look around your environment as you walk around. So imagine being able to assess whether or not someone is, is early stages of mild cognitive impairment without having to do hours and hours of cognitive testing, you just put on an eye tracker and take a walk around your neighborhood. I've always loved large amounts of data and I've loved developing new techniques for understanding those data. And this is a way for me to merge these different aspects of my work and potentially build something that will be really helpful to society as a whole.